Woodworkers, having access to a printer, a bandsaw, and some basic SketchUp skills is kind of like having access to a poor man's version of the CNC machine. With these basic tools, you can cut out some very complex curves, angles, and shapes in 100% full scale, even if the parts are very large in size. Let's take the Liftbridge standing desk for example. The feet have some complicated angles that need to be just right to mate up with the leg assemblies, and both feet need to be identical so that it sits on the floor nice and level without any rocking. Printing full scale directly from SketchUp makes this a piece of cake even when the parts span multiple pages on your printer. If you've never used SketchUp before, check out SketchUp.com where you can download a free version of the program. I'll put a link in the description. So here I am in SketchUp with the latest Liftbridge standing desk design. I have SketchUp Pro 2017, but this looks exactly the same in SketchUp Make, which is the free version of SketchUp. Now I'm working on a Mac, but this process should be nearly identical in Windows. So for your Windows users, hopefully you can follow along. These little buttons or sections at the top are what they call scenes. Scenes are basically just different views of your design and make it really easy to change views at a click of a button. As you can see, I have two scenes for two different templates for the feet. For this example, we're going to go ahead and print out foot template number one. As you can see, we're currently viewing this with more of a 3D perspective. So if we printed this out at this point, it wouldn't have an accurate scale. To fix this, we need to change from a 3D perspective to more of a flat top-down perspective. Here's how. Go up to the camera menu and choose standard views and then top. After that, select parallel projection. Next, go up to the file menu and then click on page setup. Select your printer and your printer's paper from the drop down menus. I have a brother printer and I selected that as well as the standard US letter paper size, but yours might be different. If the part that you're printing is more vertical, choose the standard portrait orientation. In our case, the part that we're printing is more horizontal, so we're going to go ahead and choose the landscape orientation. Lastly, make sure that your scale is set to 100% and then click the OK button. Next, we need to visit the file menu again, then scroll down to the document setup section. By default, yours might have this fit view to page option checked. If we print it at this point, it wouldn't print to full scale, so make sure that you uncheck this box, then set your print scale to one inch in drawing and one inch in model. If we were to print at this point, it's telling us that it would print out six pages, which really isn't quite right. This is because SketchUp was designed to print out everything that is contained within the SketchUp window, and our window is currently set to full screen. So to fix this, we need to resize and scale the window so that it only contains the parts that we want to print. So I'm gonna go down to the lower right of the window, and I'm gonna just drag that up, and you'll notice that your parts are probably gonna scale as you do that. So I'm just using the scroll wheel on my mouse to zoom in, and um, in to pan, uh, you can hit the, the letter H on your keyboard, and then you can drag that around like this. So I still see too, a little too much green in there, so I'm going to play around with this a little bit so that I can get it to, to fill up the entire area. So here I'm getting a, a little closer. Uh, that's probably about, that's probably good right about there. So as you notice, uh, you can still see all the dimensions and uh, there's just a little bit of green surrounding the part. So at this point, I can go up to the file menu and uh, hit print. And from here, you can see that now it's been reduced down to three pages. And so I can uh, hit the arrow key here and flip through all the pages that it's going to print. You can see that the third page actually just has uh, one of the dimensions that's just kind of hanging off the end there. So but the part itself is all contained within the first two pages. And uh, that's because we're still in the landscape orientation. If we were in the portrait orientation, uh, you would see a lot more pages here. So if you want to save paper, make sure you get your orientation correct. And for the print quality, we can, uh, normally I just choose standard, but you can change the, the quality there if you want. And then go ahead and hit the print button. Now, if you're concerned at all about saving as much ink as possible, what I'd recommend is to go up to the View menu and then go down to Face Style and then choose Wireframe. 
And what that'll do is it'll get rid of all the shading in the parts and leave you with just the outline and the dimensions. And so from there you can go back to the print menu and you'll notice from the print preview that you only have the outlines and the dimensions that it'll print. Uh, it makes it a little bit tougher to see what is the part and what is the offcut, but if you're familiar with the parts that you're trying to cut out, then it should be okay. If your parts are larger than a sheet of paper, you'll have to join the pages together before you can start cutting. You'll need some scotch tape, a pair of scissors, a glue stick, and a ruler. Before you start taping the pages together, pick a dimension on the part and confirm that the dimension is 100% accurate with your ruler. A transparent ruler like this one works really well. If it's not accurate, you'll need to go back to SketchUp and double check your page setup and document setup settings. I found that using a backlit window as a light table makes it easier to line up the pages accurately before taping them together. For the feet, I started with some boards that I had already glued together to form blocks for the templates. Then I used a glue stick to adhere the templates to the feet. In this specific example, I printed out both template number one and number two from the design, and I glued both of those to the feet. The glue stick does a great job at holding the template in place as it's cut with the bandsaw. After it's cut, you can peel off the template, sand, and finish your part just as you normally would. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, be sure to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. Until next time, take care guys.